it's Liv. So today I have another vegan lunch recipes for you. Um, but this video is a little bit different, so it's going to be a bit longer of an intro, but I'm announcing a giveaway and answering a few of your questions that you have asked in the previous videos. So yeah, first of all, I wanted to say thank you all so much for watching all my videos and subscribing to me and leaving such amazing comments. I recently reached 50,000 subscribers the other day and it was so crazy to me. So to thank you all for all of your support, I actually contacted Mombento and said my videos have been getting a ton of positive feedback. People are loving them. Um, lots of people are asking where to get the same containers that I use and to celebrate 50,000 subscribers. I would love if we could do a giveaway and they were like, yes, of course. The giveaway will be happening over on my Instagram and the link to that will be in the description bar, but it's just at Lives Healthy Life. And Basically, all you're going to have to do is follow me and Mom Bento and leave a comment tagging a few friends in the picture. The giveaway is going to close on Friday, so it's just kind of a little short and quick giveaway. Um, but basically, what you can win is a bento box of your choice. So in this video, I'm actually using the square bento box as opposed to the long rectangular one that I used in the other videos that I made. Um, I just kind of wanted to switch it up so that it didn't get too repetitive. So the main question that I've been getting um, in the comments of these videos is when you put the sauce in that little container, doesn't it like spill and get all over everything in the bento box? So I'm just going to show you why that doesn't happen. So let's say I put some sauce in this container and I put it in the box. The lid that goes on it that I didn't show in any of the videos and I totally should have shown the lids that go on top because like that's kind of an obvious thing. Please forgive me. Basically it has like a seal around the edge so it actually holds the other container in place. Let's just say I put the top lid on without the gray one. if you moved around obviously that's not what you want the sauce is gonna go everywhere everything's gonna get all messed up but when you put on the proper lid on top it doesn't move at all which is exactly what you want so even if you it moves around it's not going to spill or anything so yeah I just wanted to clear that up so yeah this company mom bento is not paying me to do these videos but I mean I wouldn't oppose if they wanted to but no, I just honestly really think that these products are genius and they've basically thought of everything. So yeah, you guys seem to really like these videos. So as long as you keep requesting them, which you do every single day, then I will keep making them. So yeah, I hope you guys like it and let's get into the video. So for this first lunch, I used these meatless chicken strips and I actually didn't use the sauce that it came with, I just used the chicken strip part. So I put a bit of oil in a pan and just cooked those until they were a little bit brown and crispy. Then I cut them up and added this spicy Thai chili sauce. So in the bento box, I added some baby spinach, then I added some of this tri-colored cooked quinoa. I used about a cup and a half cooked. Then I just added the Thai chili chicken on top. as well as a wedge of lime for when, just before you eat it. And then in this small little sauce container, I just put some extra of the spicy Thai chili sauce. So for the next box, it's kind of like a deconstructed yogurt and granola parfait. So I used this vegan coconut milk yogurt in the flavor vanilla and I added some strawberries and blueberries to the box. Then in the other container I just added some pumpkin flax granola. 
This is how the whole box stacks up. I should have shown this in my other videos, but I'm doing it now. <laughs> so there's a lid for each container and then a lid that goes on top. And then there's this elastic band that goes around it to hold everything together. So to make the lentil salad, you're going to start off with about one and a half cups of cooked lentils and add a teaspoon of parsley, a sprinkle of pepper, some diced cucumber and diced tomatoes. Then just give that a quick stir. Then I layered some spinach and the lentil salad in the bento box. To make the dressing, I used a few tablespoons of tahini with the juice of half a lemon. Then to thin it out, I just added some water. Then I also added a tablespoon of maple syrup. I don't know why I can't find that clip, but I added one tablespoon of maple syrup as well as a pinch of garlic powder. And then just stir it up until it's smooth. So to make the chewy chocolate granola bars, you need two cups of pitted dates, half a cup of cashews, half to one cup of oats, a teaspoon of vanilla, and half a cup of chocolate chips. To blend it, I added a tablespoon of water, but you could also add peanut butter or maple syrup if you want. Then I just use my hands to pack it into a loaf pan that I lined with parchment paper. Then you're just going to put it in the freezer for a couple hours or in the fridge overnight. So when you're ready to cut it, just use a sharp knife to cut through each of them. And I cut mine into strips, but you can also cut them into little squares. And I put two into the little container and then filled the rest of the box with some strawberries. So this last lunch idea is really good if you're looking to add some more raw foods into your diet. First we're going to make the taco meat, air quotes. So you're going to need a third of a cup of sunflower seeds, two thirds a cup of walnuts, a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of chili powder, a tablespoon of tomato sauce, and a tablespoon of soy sauce. So I put my little tacos in some rounded lettuce and red cabbage. So I just added the taco meat, some diced tomatoes, some sprouts, a little dollop of cashew sour cream. I'll put a recipe for that below. And I topped it with some green onion. I fit six mini tacos into the box and then I just put a wedge of lime on top. For the next box, I just added some carrot sticks, a vegan cashew ranch, and I'll put a recipe for this in the description box as well. Then I added some cucumber slices and some grapes. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to go enter the bento box giveaway on my Instagram, link in the description. Thank you all so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time.